hi i'm kailash joshi uh, we'll quickly go through the apache php and mysql installation we need these two for installation of moodle so uh, we'll not get into details of this so we'll just go through this quickly so first we'll see at apache installation uh, go to the terminal just follow these commands get into super user mode su and give this command for apache installation apt get install apache 2 so just give this command apt get install apache 2 so it will install apache if it's not already installed so most of you will have it uh, now it stores configuration files in etc apache 2 so we don't need to make any changes to this for now so this is the configuration file for apache 2 we don't need to touch it so let's ignore this for now uh, now the important thing is apache web root is stored at var www so this is the folder from where your web contents will be taken so we'll just list it for now with ls and we'll see the contents of index.html in that folder so this is the default file that we will be getting through browser when we go to our web server so now we'll quickly check whether our apache is running or not give this ip 127.0.0.7.1 and you should get this page it works Uh, now we'll just try restarting apache server whenever you do any changes to your configuration files you need to give this command slash etc init dot d apache to restart so for now it's giving error that server name not found so let's resolve this for this we need to change 
Apache to configuration file. Go to end of this. and append server name machine name this line so this is server name and name of your machine so for my machine it's workshop 03 the one that you have given to your host name nothing no changes this is the first change first change is over here server name server name and your host at the last append this line no no happy After appending this line, again restart Apache server and now the error is gone. Yeah, server name and machine name. just go to browser and here now you can specify your machine name so it yeah, we are getting same page so our machine is now getting recognized on web server Yeah, one you see in the terminal over here. Uh, yeah, Apache configuration is. Your host name. Yes, it should. Yeah, your host name. Uh, have you added server name line in Apache two dot com? Restart Apache. Yes, server name. Yeah, end me. At the end of that file. Yeah. <coughs> Server name, space machine name, and then restart Apache. No, first this should work and then your machine name. Okay, so let us install PHP now. Follow this command apt-get install PHP 5 lib apache 2 mod PHP 5. PHP 
after this command restart apache again so now we will go for mysql installation for this give this apt get command apt get install mysql server php5 mysql So, everyone getting this screen? So, now this is the root password for our database. So, remember this the password that you give, you will be using it for your Moodle. So, I am giving it as MySQL 123, give same password again mysql123 so mysql installation is complete we'll now just test it by running client for this follow mysql command hyphen u and your username that is root mysql hyphen u root we are logging with user root hyphen p to prompt for password and this is the default database that we are logging to mysql so this will ask for root password give the same password that we have given and you should get this prompt now let's try one query select star from user it should list all database users so these are the table contents we are getting so type quit to come out of prompt so you will come to shell again So, this means our MySQL database is installed and running properly. So, now let us try adding one user account. For this, login again with the same command without giving this database. So, MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. this will ask you for password so we have logged in as a root to mysql for creating user give create user command create user in single quotes your new user name at the rate localhost your username and localhost needs to be in single quotes it is creating one user named new user yeah on the localhost it is creating user name new user semicolon So, it should say query ok. Now, we will grant privileges 
to this new newly created user so for that use grant command grant all privileges on star dot star that means on all databases to the new user at local host use this command grant all privileges on star dot star to new user yeah use create user command to create new user and then grant all privileges so it should again say query okay that means we have granted all privileges to this user so now let's try logging with this username enter quit to come out to prompt again and now here instead of root we will say new user so we are logging with the new user when prompted for password just press enter it's enter just enter so we'll run the same command again select star from user so now this shows seven rows one new user added again press quit to come out of prompt so that's it so we have we are done with the installation of these three